from Retro Gamer Girl here and today I'm going to pick up something from the post office that I've been waiting weeks for from the US. I'm so excited. This is something that's going to help me finish one part of my collection and um, let's get into it. So it's been opened by US Customs. Not 100% sure why, but hopefully they haven't damaged it. So let's get in the car. just got home and uh, I purchased Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls on the PS4. This was uh, on sale for an excellent price. I ended up getting this for uh, $28 for both those games, so I'm um, pretty excited. And I picked up these which have been posted to me by EB Games, so Sunset Overdrive was 9 and Flashback Classics Volume 1 and Volume 2, both $9 sealed. and. Also waiting for me at the post was my loot gaming crate, uh, which has got some Halo cookie cutters. This looks like a pretty cool shirt. Uh, Bioshock socks, cool pin. Not sure what this is yet. 
probably something Skyrim related, but we'll get into that. And then uh, this is a Skyrim poster as well. So yeah, let's uh, get into this other box though. Hey everyone, Retro Gamer Girl here. And today I have a parcel that's arrived and I'm very, very excited about it. So I pre-ordered this for the beginning of July and a friend of mine in the US uh, secured one for me, uh, obviously a few months ago now. And uh, I'm actually shocked that it's arrived. Uh, it's taken a lot longer than I thought it was. I've been tracking it a, a bit. Um, I probably wasn't even anticipating it for another week or so just because it kept getting delayed. Uh, checking it now, uh, I've realized that it was obviously being delayed for one reason that I can tell without opening it yet, which was it was opened by the US Customs. Uh, so I'm going to get into it. Uh, I hope that there's no damage to the unit. If there is, I'll be very upset, uh, but let's get to this unboxing video. All right. So the only thing I've taken off it so far has been uh, just any address labels. But I do worry that when they slice these things open that they might not care and just go straight through. have had that happen before to the um, replica hoverboard that I have. And it has a big slice down the center of it. So yeah, it's always concerns me when customs are going to open something. All right, so it's being placed back into the box fairly nicely. Uh, and it's been covered up, which is fine. So I'm just gonna chuck the box down here. And there's no note as to why they opened it. But anyway, doesn't look damaged. That's the main thing. Uh, so what it is, is the limited edition Hellion Shield 2DS. Oh, looks so good. Looks so good. Uh, this has a link between worlds installed in it, pre-installed. Now this is, as I said, the US version. It was available from GameStop in the USA. EB Games Australia have not confirmed yet if they're going to be releasing this uh, unit in Australia, but I have since seen, probably around a week ago, that they are doing uh, this with a, I must admit, better box art. It uh, looks like this. I'll do a picture for you guys uh, in the in Japan. Now I'm pretty sure it's a Nintendo uh, store exclusive or something like that. A friend of mine who uh, buys and resells in Japan did post it on their Instagram. So I'll probably, I'm not sure if I'll get that one or not. Uh, but that being said, I do collect Zelda handhelds. I have the complete collection with the exception of the GBA, uh, the SP. That one is not a genuine one. I had to make a replica case. But I do have all of them except for that one. Uh, and I'm, um, you know, as soon as they say they're releasing a Zelda one, I have to get into it. So this is my first US release uh, handheld as well. And what does it come with? So we've got the charger and just packaging inside. But yeah, that box art is beautiful. So nice. Alright, let's have a look at this beauty. Oh, wow. It's really stunning. It's actually not a gloss. It's a matte. And I really like it. It's gorgeous. Uh, it's got beautiful detailing with the ridging uh, for, obviously, the shield design. And the gold's fantastic too and the red on the emblem. Uh, it's got brown buttons on the top and a brown power button down the bottom as well. On the inside it is a gorgeous blue. I think this is one of their better variants of a um, handheld. They always make awesome Zelda ones, don't get me wrong, but the green limited edition one that, uh, yeah, I got that one as well. That was a US 
exclusive. Uh, I do have that one and it's not as nice as this one. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited that this did come and I got it and yeah, so I'm not sure if they're still for sale over there at the moment, but it did end up costing me a packet to get this unit uh, because the dollar is not fantastic. I think I paid 70 cents in the dollar to get this over to me and I obviously did pay for expediated freight too, but unfortunately it didn't make its way to me quickly. So I'm very excited that I was able to secure one of these 2DS models. As I said, it was released in early July. Uh, I did pre-order it maybe a month or two beforehand. Japan are bringing out one as well. It does have better box art. It has a link between worlds installed on it. Uh, it's a beautiful blue. It's a matte, not a uh, gloss. And it's a gorgeous looking handheld. Uh, very, very happy to add this to the collection. It's probably one that I may play the game through uh, on. Uh, I just love the, the screen style and yeah, just it's just gorgeous looking. Absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, I'm, I'm so ha happy that it, even though uh, it took a while to get here and it was stopped in customs, I am also happy that they did take the time and, and didn't damage the box because as I said, I have had that happen before. If you haven't got one of these and you end up finding one in the US, uh, definitely nab one. Uh, they're fantastic looking units. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for the Japanese one, um, yeah, there's someone in Instagram that purchases Japanese stuff and probably happy to ship it to you worldwide. So yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, I've got uh, just a receipt for my friend uh, who's also has pretty cool drawn me, uh, sf.parko on uh, Instagram has drawn me a little awesome Bart Simpson thing as well, which is fantastic, uh, and written me a note, which I'll go over. Uh, but yeah, thank you, SF, for doing this for me. Um, and yeah, I'm just so glad it's come to me very safely. And next video is going to be my complete Zelda handheld set. I'll go through each one of them, where I got them from, uh, probably the release dates as well for them. Everyone except for the GBA SP, of course, is not genuine, but I'll go over that one as well. Uh, the Zelda collection is one of my favorites in this whole room. I love it. Uh, so if you collect Zelda handhelds, do let me know. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing more unboxing videos for you guys soon.